Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I am going to show you how to install PHP 7, the latest version, on Microsoft Windows 10. So if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10, you should be able to follow these instructions and install it on your Windows computer. So this is AMD processor. If you have Intel, you need not to worry because this works on both equally AMD and Intel processors. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser. I'm going to use the Google Chrome. You can use any browser. So once you have browser up, go ahead and pull up this website. So simply type Windows, okay? And here it is, windows.php.net slash download and hit enter and here you can see this is the latest release that is 7.3 uh, 7.4 has no release yet in case if you're looking for older version of PHP go ahead and scroll down and if you see this archives link here go ahead and open this link archives link in a new tab and you can scroll down any of these versions the, the zip folder extract it and then follow the process the steps that i'm going to show you here so there are okay multiple options multiple download links here all you have to do first of all you have to check your system type which is 64 bit in my case in case if your system is 32 bit you go ahead and install 32 bit so this is 64 bit thread safe you have to download the thread safe uh, package not the non thread okay this one in case if you're looking for uh, 32 bit go ahead and download the uh, 32 bit thread safe zip folder so we are go i'm going to use this one I'm going to click the zip download link here and save it on my desktop here save it and to save time I already have downloaded it it on my system here so all I have to do is extract using the 7 zip you can extract with extract all which comes with Microsoft this is a kind of a third party software that you can download if you wish to and then extract it so this has been extracted here is the extracted folder this is a new download that I did and once it's extracted I'm going to rename it I can rename whatever I want PHP is going to be okay I can name it PHP 7 and hit enter all I have to do now uh, put this folder in this C drive so go ahead and open this PC and you can put this uh, PHP 7 folder in any drive so that's not an issue so I'm going to put this in C drive and just quickly going to uh, you can just drag it like this I do not need this uh, PHP page anymore so I'm going to close this and I'm going to drag it over here and you can open it you see there's nothing there are a few things that you need to change here before we go ahead and start uh, checking or using PHP we need to rename this php.ini hyphen development so we need to remove this hyphen and development and just hit enter um, are you sure you want to change it yes and that has been changed uh, there are a few more things just double click on it and this should open in this notepad if it doesn't uh, it will go um, ask whether you want to open with this application that application go ahead and choose the right one then you have to look for extension directory which is here okay and then just kind of you have to remove this semicolon 
and you are good to go there are a few more extensions that you would require uh, depending on what you're going to do on the system so these are the extensions that we may need to connect to the server and use a lot of other things here so you simply have to uncomment these so this is how you enable any extension on php i and i5 okay you need md string as well here are a few more uh, extensions that people use very frequently all right and then we have to save it control s or you can save it from here and close this file now we have to do one more thing here we have to put this in the system variable system environment variable path so simply go ahead and copy this one we are not copying this ini thing we are copying this particular folder location so whatever name you have given just go ahead and copy it and then just click on this um, start menu and say variable and this should open the system property advanced tab and this is where the environment variables are located so click on it and then you've got two options the first one is for a specific user if you put the variable path over here this user will be able to execute php if you want to put this on system variable anybody logged into the system will be able to execute php so select it and then hit edit and hit new just paste that uh, php file sorry folder location in here and hit ok hit ok hit ok you can close everything and just launch the command prompt now if you go ahead and say php hyphen v you should be getting okay startup unable to load dynamic library video okay so that's a totally different thing uh, it's not able to use a certain extension try the video file that's perfectly fine but php is running uh, on this system so what we can go ahead and do is basically disable those extensions that uh, I showed you before while I was working on this uh, extension file so this is how you shouldn't be getting this error if you haven't uh, played with this INI file what you can do is simple just rename uh, not rename it uh, open it and go to extensions uh, then just comment those uh, extensions and you should not be getting those errors anymore uh, where are those extensions very i was very close to i guess yes so this one this does not do uh, so my problem okay I should be okay now so let's go ahead and use this thing here okay I'm still getting this warning here so PDO OCI PDO OCI uh, PDO OCI where is it here it is okay save it and then go ahead and alrighty so this is how you basically install php 7 on microsoft windows 10 7 8 whatever you have so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any issue in installing php on your microsoft windows please leave your question comment below in the comment section thank you so much again have a good day bye for now